What? You don't know how to set up your own solar panels. Companies will charge you tens of thousands of dollars to set up a solar system. Let me show you how to do it for free. Ah, it's finally nice out. Finally. Hey guys, AJ here. Uh, today we're going to do a small little presentation on how to set up your first solar system. Come on. Now, I've taken the liberty and I went ahead and set up a small little solar panel system for you guys so I can show you exactly how these are set up. First thing you're going to need is a solar panel. Now, the solar panel is the first thing in your system. It's what actually collects the sunlight. Hello. On the back of every good solar panel, there is a diode box which houses your diodes. Then, there's your positive and negative terminal connection. A lot of bigger type of solar panels actually come with these MC4 connectors, but I like to cut a lot of them off where uh, I can use my own type of connector. You can actually see here behind me, I've actually cut them off and used eyelets or ring terminals to make my connections. Because the little block to get to change all those MC4 connectors and plug them in together, they're kind of expensive. The second thing you're going to need is a charge controller. Now, a charge controller simply just shuts the solar panels off when your battery gets full. That way you don't overcharge your battery and cause a problem. Charge controllers can do other things and there's several different types, but we're just going to go, we're just going to stop there for now. That's a video on its own. Okay, the third thing you're going to need is a battery. Okay, do I really need to explain what a battery is? I feel like I have to because there are literally hundreds of different styles of batteries. Now this one here is a typical farm battery. I bought it for like 70 bucks. It's 105 amp hours and it's a deep cycle battery. In solar applications, it's best to go with deep cycle batteries. But on a system this small, you can use a car battery, you can use a moped battery, you can use almost anything you can find. The fourth thing you're gonna need is an inverter. The inverter then takes the 12 volts DC current from the battery and translates it into AC current so you can run things that you like. Such as your computer, your TV, or your gaming devices. So to recap, the solar panel connects to your charge controller, your charge controller connects to your battery, your battery connects to your inverter, and your inverter runs what you want to run. Well there you go free advice how to set up your own solar system. If you continue on, eventually you can go entirely off the grid and save all kinds of money. So, if you guys like what you saw, go ahead and hit the like button. If you guys like to see more, hit the subscribe button. Anyway, I'll see you guys later. Bye.